Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark from Spantacular.com. Uh, right now we're going to do a quick hands-on and unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S 4G. Uh, this of course is a follow-up to the Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant that was released last year on T-Mobile. Uh, this is the 4G variation of the phone or HSPA Plus. So let's go ahead and get a look at the phone and look at the box. You see that? We've got Inception preloaded on this one. It's kind of like a follow-up what they did with the Vibrant and um, uh, Avatar being preloaded. I guess Samsung has some kind of thing going on with the studios or maybe T-Mobile or maybe a mixture of the T-Mobile and Samsung and the studios. But anyways, let's go ahead and get a look at what's inside. So, okay, so, if I get this thing out, there's the handset itself. So, got a little protective plastic screen here. It's got a nice finish to it. I'll give it that. It's not too heavy. Um, here we've got a power adapter, uh, USB cable. This is a micro SD adapter. Uh, Set of headphones, these look look alright. And is there anything at the bottom besides branding? No, it sounds like I'm about to rip stuff, so we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, so oh, there's another compartment here. Getting creative with these boxes, I guess. It feels like instruction manuals. And that startup guide. And yeah, more instructions and warranty and stuff like that. So let's see if we can boot the phone real quick. Um, I just got this from H. I'm um, ah, Samsung, <laughs> and um, uh, we're gonna see if we have a charge on this battery. They ship it to me with the battery in most cases already in. So let's hold this down and see what we get. Okay, so there's your boot screen. We're just waiting for this to do its thing. But a little bit about this device. It's running Android 2.2. Um, it's got a 4 inch Super AMOLED display. You can see there's, it's running on T-Mobile if you couldn't tell. And um, it's featuring a 5 megapixel rear camera. Uh, sadly, there's no flash. So this being a follow up to a, a phone that did not have a flash on it with its camera, uh, we would have hoped they would have fixed that, but apparently they didn't this time around. Uh, got your 3.5 audio jack, sliding USB uh, port right there volume control here and this is the back you can pry it off and access your battery and one of the other improvements in this handset is you've got a front facing cam I believe it's VGA but I'll have to double check with the specs on this one so let's see we're going to go ahead and swipe the unlock there's Android 2.2 we don't want to show you that phone number there we're going to block that um, Matter of fact, we'll just tap into Inception and see what it looks like just to show off that display. And I'll go ahead and peel this off to give you a better, better feel. So we're just kind of going with this as it is. Hopefully we don't have to do any kind of installation or anything like that. But it says loading, so we'll see what we've got. Another big thing that um, with this handset is it's not just like a Vibrant 2, but it's, it's, also, a, um, it's also connected to their 4G or HSPA+. So... It's going to get 4G as long as you have that connection in your area. Yeah, it's asking me to log into an account, so we're not going to do that this time. But it does come preloaded with, with the full movie Inception. And um, it has Android 2.2 piling everything. So, um, in addition to all that, you also have uh, the latest version of Samsung's TouchWiz platform, TouchWiz 3.0. Uh, it gives you little features like, like pretty much just the layout. So, like, for example, they finally added, the, you have your, um, your multitasking for recent recent activity. Also, a new feature with the new TouchWiz is you can do this. There we go. Similar to what you've seen in HTC Sense. And you can move around and arrange your screen so they're kind of catching up with that. Um, it's, it's an alright piece of bloatware, but it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things to where if you get a Samsung phone, you're going to get it. But, uh, we're going to get ready to close this thing out. And we're going to have a full hands-on review on our site. Uh, that'll be coming really soon. 
If you have any questions about the handset, though, feel free to ask. Drop us a message. We'll gladly get back to you and address your concerns. But this is Mark from SpanTechler.com. Thanks for stopping by.